I would like to speak about uh, philosophizing, which I find is a process of journey, a never-ending journey, and that journey has to envelop the whole person. I would put the whole person in terms of philosophizing with the head, heart and hands. I do not take head, and head heart and hands uh, as the three biological organs of the human. I take them uh, in their intentional meaning. That is, head stands for, not merely for this part of the body, but rather for the that dimension of the human by which I am able to understand in conceptual clarity. And also it is because of my head that I am able to, uh, my knowledge I am able to um, arrange or I am able to keep in logical order. And what I know in conceptual clarity, it has to go into my heart. The heart stands for the inner of my being. Uh, if, if I speak merely with my lips, uh, merely with my knowledge, that does not emanate from me, from within of me. So, so what is known uh, with my intellectual or rational con uh, understanding has to be has to be made convictions of mine and that is done with my heart and then that is not enough is to express itself in the form of hands existentially manifesting what i am intellectually understanding and personally convinced of that is what is referred to by hands so the whole process of philosophizing. It is, it, en it embraces the whole person of um, head, heart and hands. I would put it in the form of a, a circle, starting with the hands. Hands stand for the existential touch of experience. So, philosophizing has to start with my personal experience of reality and what I experience with my hands, with my existential touch has to be given clarity with my head and that has to go through the process of getting conviction, giving conviction with my heart and that does not stop, philosophizing does not stop there. It has to manifest itself in the form of acting out in my existential actions. What I do must be based on what I am convinced of. So only when the whole person is involved in philosophizing, I can say that it is authentic philosophizing and authentic existence. I would also just add a one more point with regard to uh, philosophizing, uh, it uh, refers to the uh, process of, um, I would call it, process of authentic existence. I use the expression authentic in the sense uncontaminated existence without any, any mask. And I can exist in my authenticity in so far as I make a choice for myself. I say yes to this is what I am. And I am fully rooted in that world. And I, I am proud of what I am. And standing rooted in what I am, I also need to be open. So rootedness and openness, they go together. So otherwise, if I am only merely rooted, I will be stagnated. So I am spatio-temporally rooted. At the same time, I am open to the beyond of the space and time. And that is the complementarity we have to keep in mind. So we need to be rooted in what we are without 
any uh, placing of any mask at the same time i need to keep on uh, opening ourselves to the whole reality to the humans to the to the reality to the nature and to the divine so when i am so i would put it into two terms rootedness and openness or joy choice or a decision to be myself and also receptive openness to the reality i really become authentic that is authentic philosophizing and that kind of philosophizing is possible only in so far as we accept our finitude accept because there there is no i am not making a dogmatic assertion but rather i do it in humility humility and intellectual humility this is what i am i am only merely responding to what i am what i have spoken to and i would put in terms of manikers expression or symbol i am only a, a symbolic expression symbolic expression means i do not put a full stop to my expression what i am expressing is only a finite expression the whole reality also is a symbol and i am responding to that also when i take the reality as symbol and i show myself as a symbol i would say i am philosophizing um, authentically and that is philosophizing in terms of head heart and hands involving the whole person